coming to my studio, opening the door, it immediately feels like a sanctuary. It's so quiet here on Dartmoor. Paints everywhere, which is always so comforting to me. It's stunning. You can watch the weather pass over. The floor has just paint all over it. We've got old comfy chairs. It's just the ultimate comfort blanket of a studio where I can come and let loose in a non-judgmental space and be myself hidden away in the hills. I'm Emily Powell, I'm a painter. I work here on Dartmoor in my studio in Devon. It feels like flying, just the best feeling in the world, laying colour next to colour. It feels powerful, honest, and I think it feels like it's the truthful way to explain how I'm feeling. I got given a Joan Eardley book for my 14th birthday, in fact, 20 years ago. I'd been in school for a long time, not finding my place, and it was just like the windows had been flung open and the light had come in, and I realised that there were people like me out there. I realised by looking at Joan Eardley's work and observing it that you can paint with emotion and it's not about painting exactly what you see, it's about painting what you feel and a lot of people can take an awful lot from that. When I was in Catalina, it was Joan's place. She'd put the pin in the map and sort of said, here is a good place to get good creative energy. I went there not trying to do what she did, but trying to understand more about her and to learn more about how she worked and how I work. Catalines just there's no words to describe it, and that's why you have to paint it. It's dramatic, but it's caring. It's a beautiful place, looking out over the sea. The sky's ever-changing. It taught me to paint sky like I've never painted before. The rocks are so black, and the wake of the sea is so white. The contrast just stays with you. You could paint there for a lifetime, and it wouldn't be enough. Being invited to show this work at Portland Gallery has been a real honour and I'm excited to see it displayed in their beautiful gallery in London. There's a huge piece that I'm working on at the moment that's got shapes that I've brought back from Catalina in my mind that are etched in that I needed to desperately sketch all over this piece. There are colours I've brought back from Catalina there. It's heavily inspired by the hedgerow in front of the whitewashed cottages. It's got the energy that I so admire from Joan. I used new muscles in my arms when I was painting in Catalina to get the stems of the flowers. And coming back here, I made bigger work than ever to capture the Catalina flowers just so I could visually represent how tall the stems were. Painting outside is one of my absolutely favourite types of painting and Dartmoor is ideal for it. I can drag my canvas down the lane, grab my paints and there's just opportunity and inspiration all around here. I can go away to places like Catalina and come back with all the things I've learnt and bring it onto Dartmoor. And there's such colour story within each painting. I crave dramatic scenery because that's where you can really throw your paint around, throw your brush around, do wild marks. So from painting up 
in Catiline in Scotland to painting here on Dartmoor, they have similarities, but also huge differences. And that excites me so much every day. It makes me really emotional to think that other people understand what my work is saying. It's a really big honor that people take the time to look at my work and want to surround themselves with it. And it makes me feel less isolated in the world knowing other people understand how I'm feeling.